What's up, Aquarius? It's Deb with Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope that this reading finds you safe. But I'm going to go ahead and shuffle up the decks and we'll get started. Shout out to all of my new Aquariuses that have joined the tribe. Hey, y'all. If you have been enjoying any of these stories, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And hit the post notification bell on your way out. Okay, I appreciate the energy exchange. So we got the King of Chalice. Okay, so someone is in their feelings. Um, I feel like someone is maybe coming to a realization of something emotionally. Okay. I don't know if this is you, Aquarius, or if this is someone connected to you. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or it could be any sign, you know, just they're in a water, you know, water element right now. Okay. The five of this. Mm, someone feels left out, you know, and I feel like... This person is in love with whoever it is that they feel left out from. Okay. Well, so let's see what's going on. Um, we got a new format. If y'all don't know, um, I like to switch stuff up around here. Once it gets warm enough, I'm going to be going outside again because that's my favorite. But for right now, you're going to see different formats. I'm going to explain to you what it is. Okay. It's, it's it's my team, okay? I'm going to put it like that. Not just me, it's my team. Okay, so the first two cards right here are basically going to describe what's going on presently or in the past. And then the last five cards are possibly about the future, okay? Or what's going on presently. It could be either one. Okay? Cause they kind of fluctuate because you guys know time is everywhere, basically. Okay. So... The two cards we got here for the header is the Devil card and <laughs> the King of Wands. Somebody is obsessed with someone. Someone is very passionate about someone. Um, I don't know who's this King of Wands energy, Aquarius. I don't know if it's you, if you're in King of Wands energy. But uh, somebody is feeling very um, obsessed, I feel. Okay, so we got the Justice. Five of Swords. The Princess of Wands. The Hangman. <laughs> and the Princess of Cups. Wow, really? Okay. That this card is interesting. I'm gonna tell y'all about it though. Okay, so what I feel like is someone wants to bring justice to some situation that was not justified okay so maybe someone um you know they they needed to go through court situation or it could be like something that no one else knows they, their conscience is not uh sitting well with them because we got the five of of or five of swords so that's like conflict fighting so this person might be lashing out on people around them because they feel frustrated because something hasn't been justified. This person is in love and they're obsessed about someone. It, it could be this Princess of Wands. Um, this fire sign, possibly Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I feel like this is the funny message I got. The hangman. This person is hung for this person let's put it like that okay and this person is stuck they're stuck on them because the princess of cups it's like this is growing this is not going anywhere y'all see the orange green right here love you know what i'm saying the king of chalice love <laughs> king of wands he's confident wherever this is he's confident in this obsession or whatever it is that they have okay that's what i'm seeing as a devil card that's capricorn energy okay let's get clarification on what's the devil <laughs> who comes out interesting aquarius
Ace of Wands and the Knave of Wands. There you are. The star card. Mm -hmm. I figured you was the King of Wands and the Two of Wands. Okay. Mm, somebody's waiting to see um, what path someone's going to take because I feel like there's stability on the table because if you look at all these are wands, right? So there's a new beginning, some stability on the table, but depending on if a person decides to go down the path, they feel like it's very exciting. You know what I'm saying? And this person feels like they would be on top of the world, okay? This, I mean, this is you, okay? So I'm gonna say this person, but Aquarius, we know this is you, okay? Um, yeah. What's the King of Wands? Because the King of Wands got the, the Ace of Wands, okay? Hmm? Like, like we had the five of um, pentacles feeling left out and just wow the hierophant so you you feel like you want to commit because look we got the hermit card so you you feel like you're kind of stuck like as in like you don't talk to people you spend most of your time to yourself you have been learning a lot of things you've been researching just, you know, really going at it and learning about stuff that you never knew. Like, so you're learning yourself also on the process. What's this card? Ooh. No wonder justice is here. Judgment. Mm. So you got, so judgment happened. So that means that you realize what happened. You realize your mistakes um, on you. It's like you taking um, responsibility is what I'm feeling. Like you take your responsibility for whatever uh you did in the situation and you're also seeing you know the other person what they did you know it's kind of like evenly so kind of feel like you want to commit to this person with the higher thing okay what's the justice y'all can always take it as reverse okay the moon card mm. Okay, so this stuff has not, this is hidden or this is things that have not been put out there for both parties to understand, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Dang. Okay, so we got the Three of Pentacles reversed. The King of Wands reversed. The Six of Swords reversed. And the Ace of Swords Wow, somebody wants to lay it all out there on the table. Yeah, someone wants to come with the the truth and nothing but the truth. I feel like what they want to admit is that they did they did not collaborate correctly or they did not give the right type of energy towards this person that they feel left out from. Like they realize they were giving um insufficient type energy towards the situation this person was not passionate you know what i'm saying they came off as a person that didn't care about this new beginning they didn't care about what happened basically this person was going back and forth with their past situation so this person was not like i feel like if it was you aquarius you were not connected to yourself because the hermit is here so that means that now you have started to connect with yourself but in the past it was like the reason why justice happened, the reason why judgment happened was you kept going back and forth with your past and dealing with that. And I mean, the seven of swords is like, I said six, but it's the seven reverse. It's like now you see that being, you know, destructive, lying, cheating, and stuff like that is not going to get you anywhere. All it's going to do is cause a lot of conflict with the five of the swords. Yeah. Okay. Um, then we got the moon, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like this is it because it hasn't... I feel like... I, I'm going to wait, even though I feel like I should say it. I probably should. I feel like we might get the high priestess. Because the moon card kind of associates with intuition and stuff like that. But outside of that, I feel like someone doesn't know this. You know what I'm saying? All they're seeing is this conflict and they're trying to stay far away from it. But let's see, what's the five of swords? Because I think we're getting closer to this energy so it might start fluctuating in here. Mm. 
might be a Sagittarius. Five of Swords at the bottom. It's the same as this. This is definitely confirming us. Yeah, I said a fire sign is Princess of Wands might be a Sagittarius, okay? But this person does not feel balanced, okay? The energy I'm getting from them, they don't feel balanced. They're not happy. Um, look, the Justice card came out again. The Death card. Oh, I make this nothing up. High Priestess. <laughs> and the Eight of Pentacles, okay? So what's crazy is with the um, five of swords, it's like mm, this person doesn't want to deal with it. Like, look at this. They're too busy working. They feel like their energy is being used in other way, elsewhere. So they don't feel like they need to. They, they know that this has to go through death and transformation. They know that this is going through justice. They know all these things the high priest is. And the high priest is basically is just working towards financial abundance. Okay. Um, yeah, this princess of, of wands. Okay. And I feel like people are fighting um for like her attention also is what i'm getting what's the princess of wands yeah ten of pentacles yes look jackpot yeah everybody after the bag they trying to secure the bag princess of wands she's the bag look Wish. What did I just say? They got a lot of people trying to pursue them and make a connection with them because there are a lot of people. They check off a lot of things on, on people's wish lists or what people would see as a ideal partner for them. Okay. Hangman. What I say? Hangman. This person is not only feeling like they will win the bag in abundance, but they feel like they they actually this is a happy young man they want to be stuck to this situation what's the name there saying i know they want to be stuck now the chariot card ace of chalice came out okay and y'all know when i see ace of chalice uh, you know, a self-love, but in this case, I feel like this person wants to have a child. I feel like they want love to overflow. You know what I'm saying? They want to be stuck in love. So, I mean, that's dope. <laughs> they might be coming towards you. They might have to drive to you or take a plane, a train, something, because the chariot car means movement. So someone is coming. Either you're coming, Aquarius, or someone's coming towards you. What's the Princess of Cups? This is a connection. The Princess of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Let's see. Night of... Yeah. Okay. I'm going to just say it. The Princess of Cups... And, and the, when I first seen this card, I wanted to say this, but I kind of left it as there's love on both ends because there is. But this person, they feel like their love was abused, okay? The Princess of Cups is like they they hold love back or they haven't found how to love themselves truly. So they kind of feel regretful for even dealing with the situation in the past because, I mean, I'm taking these two cards together because it's how I'm seeing that the Six of Cups are. They have love, but they are heartbroken. Still, this person still needs to heal. This person still holds back um, emotionally. So if it's a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, they don't feel safe, okay? They feel um, not secure in believing that this connection is going to work because the ace to the night is not a connection. I mean, it is, but it's, it's going to give challenges because they're not, you know, equal. So... I feel like this person feels like they can't they can't love this person they, the way that they would want to love someone because they don't trust them. So it's like a waste of energy. That's how this person feels. Okay. I hope this helped someone to understand their situation. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the post notification bell on the way out. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.